Hello everyone, this is Anakin2800, and this is part two of the update of the Spencer Mansion. Um, because of the way the tunnels were set up to avoid overlapping, I had to swap some rooms around, so this this lower area is not necessarily 100%, but I will still, for the most part, try to lead the way. Um, this would basically lead to the um, pass password room area. Um, I believe this is the one where you got the um, the John Ada password and the clue for mole. And this is before I figured out um, I should have used wax copper for some of these doors. So that's why some things are turning blue. Um, this door would have been locked until you did the whole password thing. And you would find one of those MO disk machines. Once you get all three passwords in this will unlock and eventually leads to the jail room which depending on what version if you're playing as Jill you'll rescue Chris if you're playing as Chris you'll, you'll rescue Jill that typically does not unlock until you get the self destruct signal unless you got the bad ending and then you would use Wesker's key to open that thing up so it's not a 100% bad day for any of the characters. You'll at least be able to rescue one. Okay. Um, let's see if I can remember what rooms are what again. I'll come back to that door later. This is basically a small lab where you got the computer and you would do the um, Ada, the John Ada mobile password. I'm going to call this the um, morgue room, but um, we'll be getting through that way through a different way I'll show you later. So, here's that laboratory room with Vince and there'll be two vents there, a mechanism over there, probably a table here, some shelves. Because of the way how Minecraft it is, this is technically our vent. <sighs> Shit. Ah! <laughs> Which would have been the only way to get in, and I'm making it look bad. And I just discovered a soft lock here, which I will fix very soon. Or not. I 
Maybe I have to do it a different way. Hold on. Rather I discover this now than wait until later. As you can see, this um, ID needs work. So, yeah. But this would have been the ventilation area. Uh, a fix for another day, I suppose. But yeah, that would lead to the morgue area. that would unlock this door from the inside. So you would unlock from this end. Here's our lab save room. And here's our power room. The power room. Oh, by the way, the morgue had another one of those passport rooms. I mean, machines. And over here is where you would turn on the power. In the remake slash remastered, you got Nitro. To turn this on in the original it's just push of a button um, machinery machinery portion two this is our um, mo machine for over here And then here's our um, here's our triggering system slash elevator power room. So one side would power turn on the elevator. There's another machine roughly about here that would um, set the triggering system. And uh, apparently all the bombs are all the mechanisms that would set off the self-destruct are somewhere over here. And depending on whether or not you're playing a 
Chris or Jill, if you're playing as Chris, you'll, and if you decide to come over here, like, let's say you forgot the, um, the battery for the elevator playing the arranged version, you will find Wesker's body somewhere over here because in the book he gets attacked by those climaries, I guess you call them. At least in book canon, that's what happened. The um, SD Perry books. Which, even though they're not necessarily true canon, they're still a good read if you haven't done so. There's like seven books. There's It covers from Resident Evil Zero all the way up to um, Code Veronica X. And I, then I guess I stopped after that. Okay. And leading over here would be the elevator for the lab. So there's a spot for the lab component. Again, temporarily have that open. Another spot for the... And I forgot to fill up on this. And to make to make space and make things a little interesting, I decided to do something a little different for the lab. As you can see, there's a teleporter. Please note the lab isn't 100% accurate. It's more of a reimagining re of it. But here's the lab. This is supposed to be some tubing and stuff. I just figured it would look spooky. But yeah, um, for the most part, what I'm showing you in, in the last few portions of part one and part two will be touched on in a few days or so. Okay. Alright, assuming you killed the tyrant and got out. <laughs> oh my, sorry about that. Now, Usually the triggering system would make this open up, or you would use Wesker's key to get out. Here's our elevator hallway. I forgot to add a bottom, but here's the bottom part of the elevator. Here's the top part of the elevator. Excellent. 
door and head for the heliport. And eventually you'll end up up here and I don't know, I thought about making a leap into the portal for your final fight, but we'll see how that goes for the um once I start working on the adventure map. Well, that is it so far for the um, tour of the um, Spencer, Spencer, uh, ex, the Spencer Mansion. There'll be there will be a more updated variant later on as we um, touch up more on this um, map. And like I said, be sure to um, watch Josh Ryu's tour video once it comes out. Till then, this is Anakin 2800 signing off. Peace.